We all knew it was too good to stay away. This is my take on El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Now don't worry, I am not going to spoil anything for anybody. I know it just came out, and it's a Netflix thing, and I'm glad it was a Netflix thing because, well, it didn't really change anything because it was still kind of like an AMC thing. Um, it didn't really, I mean, you, didn't, you don't hear anybody cursing more than usual. You don't see anything uh, more violent or more um, uh, obscene, I guess, uh, despite this being on Netflix. Um, you can tell Vince Gilligan wrote this like it was going to be in, uh, on AMC. Um, a couple of things. Okay, real quick. You know how Breaking Bad episodes are either great, really great, or amazing? Well, this is a really great episode of Breaking Bad, essentially. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the cameos, uh, in the, in the, in the picture. Uh, everyone that you might want to have in it shows up so uh I, I mean you gotta you gotta watch it you gotta pay attention to every little detail um because there are things that i mean this is about jesse everybody knows that but there are things that jesse does towards the beginning of the film that you you wonder why like this there's, there's got to be a deeper meaning to it and when you find out what he's doing it just makes so much sense and it's it's a it's a brilliant payoff and, um, it's kind of, it's what I wanted. It's what I want, how I wanted to see it end. Um, and, uh, it, a lot of this is told through flashbacks, um, uh, of what happened to Jesse, uh, during, uh, uh, his incarceration with the white supremacists. Um, a lot of, I'll just say this much, this isn't really much of a spoiler, a lot of Todd. A lot of, so if you like Todd, he is back. Uh, and he's in this a lot through the flashbacks. Um, uh, but they do confirm the, the final fate of Walter White uh, through a, uh, a a telecast, a news... I think it was on the TV or the radio, I forget which. But either way, they confirm his fate. Because uh, I know there were people who well, maybe he's just in prison. He's still alive. No. It's time to, to, to realize what, what happened to Walter White. Um... But this is this is a really great episode of Breaking Bad. Essentially, it's not Ozymandias level because Ozymandias takes the breath out of your system and just waits for you to to try and catch it. Um, but it's also not like some of the early episodes, which were just great. Uh, it's somewhere in between. Um, I'm glad it exists. I'll say that it's not like it's not like it's horrible, um, but. You do kind of miss Walter White. I mean, that's Jesse's great, and we want to know what happens to him after the final episode. But you just kind of... I don't know. You, you, you miss Walter White in a situation like this because he was the, um, the protagonist and antagonist of the program. Um, but that being said, definitely, if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, you have to check out El Camino. Um, you really need to have seen the series to know certain things, to understand what's going on. Um, so I wouldn't say this is a good starting place for people who don't know Breaking Bad. You definitely have to have seen the series. But luckily for you, it's readily available everywhere, so watch some Breaking Bad, then watch El Camino if you haven't. But now is the time to start, because people are going to be talking about El Camino and things that happened in it. And, uh, yeah... Yeah, I will say this though. Jesse kind of is a a surrogate Walter White in some of the in in inventive ways he handles situations. But um, that being said, there's just no substitute for Brian Cranston. There's just no substitute for Heisenberg. But like I said, go check out El Camino on Netflix if you are a Breaking Bad fan. Even if you're not, catch up and watch the movie. It's fantastic. Um, it's not earth shattering, but it is what it is and it accomplishes what it needs to accomplish. So I suggest checking it out. 
And uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, head over to ronhasawebsite.com where you can get t-shirts and you can support the show on Patreon and you can follow me on all the social medias and all that kind of stuff. So I want to thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next Thursday where we talk about I don't know, bitch. <laughs>